Hey y'all, Dave here, Double Hook Angling. How y'all doing? Well, I was in the shop. I was doing some setup and stuff, starting to uh, work on a few rod holders. And then I thought, well, hey, wait a minute. I got a rod holder in the mail uh, about a week and a half or so ago. And I, I set it aside. I was going to do a mail call. But this polar vortex ice thing that moved in from the Arctic and blew in all kinds of snow and ice and everything... I, uh, I've been working on this Rambler because all that cause can't go fishing. All that, you know, everything's frozen over. Now, at first it was too unsafe to get on the ice. And now I guess there's guys out there fishing on the ice. So, you know, I, I'm not all about it yet, but I'm, I'm get thinking about it because I'm having a little bit of withdrawals from not to get to go fishing. So, but anyways, on there, we want us a cat claw rod holder. So, you know, Y'all know I make rod holders too, but, you know, different things for different people. If you don't like mine, this is a rod holder that I want you to go check out. Now, Cat Claws is an awesome dude. He's on YouTube. Check him out. He makes rod holders. His, do his design is just a little different than mine. Well, it's actually quite a bit different than mine, but it's the same concept. Bank fishing, big old fish. So that's all we care about. We want to share each other out. We want to share everybody out. This a fishing family, fishing community. We're all about, hey, let's check out other people's stuff. So I was on there and I won me a cat claw rod holder. I got it in the mail. I set it aside because we were doing some fishing and stuff in a few days and then before the ice you know, came in and then I forgot about it because all that stuff came in and I started working on this turn. So, anywho, I went ahead and I uh, got this in the mail. I got it opened so it would make it a little easier instead of try to find my knife again and fumble around and make it kind of weird. So, I got this. Here, let's get this. All right, so let's get this out. All right, show you off first. Let's show off this here. Here is a sticker. Cat Claws Rod Holders. Keep on chucking. Then we got this label that came with it. Right here. There you go. That's pretty cool. It got his QR codes there for YouTube and Facebook. Let's see if I can get it better in the screen for y'all. There you go. You know, pause that and go, you know, take your little doodad of it and stuff. So, but now his comes with a spike. So his is a uh, Stomper Z is what his is called. So he's got this big old spike that apparently he makes because that looks like it was a TIG welded on spike. So he got this big old spike that you go in through these holes and help hold it down in the ground or you know, spike that thing on the end of the dock, digging in somebody's dock. You start beating it with a hammer, but better not. You might not get it back be stuck there forever. But he does these real pretty welds, you know, and uh, he, he TIG welds his stuff, which I need to learn how to do because I really want to make some pretty welds like that for y'all too. Mine is, mine is more industrial style, you know, fixed in place. But this ain't about me today. This is about his. So he's got this design where his rod sits up in here and then uh, uh, you can have it there or you can have it here too. So pretty cool. Oh yeah, he's got that uh, right there you go. He plasma cutted that out with the CNC plasma. That is pretty sharp. I'd like to do that too. So, but yeah, hey, if y'all need you a, a rod holder that suits your needs and this is what it looks like and that's what you want go catch a get you a cat claw so uh hey bud i appreciate you you know we're all about sharing we're all about you know getting the word out he uh he does his in a different way than i do mine so if you like his go check him out appreciate y'all thanks for watching go tie something we're gonna we're actually going to work on the Rambler. We ain't tying today. Jig's got to wait. See y'all.